in Ottawa with evidence for God. So bring it on, Julian. How you doing? Not too bad. How are you guys? Good. Hoping hoping Hello. for people who will be able to answer questions. <laughs> Can you guys hear me properly? I just want to make sure. Yes. And by the way, okay. no, you People don't need to a- ask if we can hear them when they call, call into the show. Uh, if we can't, it'll be obvious real quick. And considering we're talking to you, go for it. That's very true. Uh, okay, so I want to break down why there is a God and not in a religious way that most of the uh, theists usually call about. What God are we talking about then? I'm talking about a higher, like, when you're when you say you're an atheist, does that mean you don't believe in a higher power or what do you, you mean by higher power religious God? What? I don't know what you mean by higher power. I, if you're, if we're going to talk about a God, we, it needs to be defined pretty clearly. Higher power is just lofty language that doesn't actually convey any information. Well, let's just, let's just call it creator then. A creator of what? Like I, a cre- I'm a lot of creators. I'm a creator. A creator. Well, how did the Big Bang happen? So, uh, uh, I, I have no idea. Don, do you know how the Big Bang happened? No, I don't. I, I don't even know. First of all, I, I, don't, I wouldn't even say I know that the Big Bang happened. It's just the Big Bang cosmology is the current best explanation of all the relevant facts that are, that, that are trying to describe the origin of the universe. I don't know how it happened, why it happened. Um, you believe it's a fact, though. You just said it was a fact. No, actually, what I just, it's like, it's like people don't listen to me at all. Let me, let me rewind this and do this again, Julian. I literally just said, I do not know that it happened. I'm not asserting it's a fact. I said it was the current best scientific explanation for the origin of the universe. I literally said, I do not know that it happened. And your first thing that you direct at me is, is accusing me of saying it's a fact. I don't know how the no, universe is created. Wait, wait, and wait, I don't know wait, that the Big Bang cosmology scientific... is, are you just going to... I don't know how the universe began, and I don't know the Big Bang cosmology is the actual answer. I just know it's the current best scientific explanation that accounts for the facts. Now, what God are we talking about? Guy, right? Sorry, what? Okay, you're, you're a scientific guy, right? If, if science says the Big Bang happened, why do you not have probable cause to believe that there was a big bang because science doesn't say the big bang happened science isn't making proclamations of truth science is saying this particular model is the current best explanation and it is subject to revision as are all scientific models because they're tentative i accept that i accept all of that that this is the best current model science doesn't make proclamations of truth science doesn't make statements that this is the way it was it says this is our best understanding so that therefore it could be BS for all well, it could be There's no because BS is generally used for when somebody is intentionally deceiving. Is it possible the Big Bang cosmology is not an accurate model? Yes, but we need to have a lot of evidence for that, and right. I, and whatever replaces the Big Bang would need to have better evidence than than we have for the Big Bang. Exactly, and still we haven't gotten to what God to be about. a. Well, the God I'm talking about is not a God of religion, right? He's a God that, he's not a person like a man. You can't be like, that's God. He has a beard. He's he's uh, given orders. He's building things, whatever. Stop telling, tell stop me telling me what he's talking about. Yeah, tell us what he is, tell not what he is. is. <laughs> and and what, let me remove the he from that. <laughs> tell us what, define the God you're talking about, because it may well be a God I don't give a fuck about. Well, maybe he doesn't. Maybe he doesn't care about us either. Because, well, do you believe in aliens? If there's aliens, there's got to be. Oh aliens. my God! There's other. If there's other. Julian, you, Julian, you just suggested. You, you just you just suggested that this God isn't a person, but that maybe he doesn't care about us. And then you move on to aliens. Define your God, or I'm moving on to another call. I think God created himself. Uh, I think God created this world to experience. Okay. Julian, you're muted. I didn't hang up on you. I'm, I muted you so that you could listen to Don and I for a second. I asked you to define your God. And what did you start with? I think God created himself. That's not a definition of a God. 
That's not even describing God's characteristics. You're telling us what you think is true about what this God did or didn't do. All we wanted was for you to define your God so that you can go on this. If, if you can't do that, then put the bong down, get some paper, and work this out and call us back. I'll give you one more shot. Define God. Okay, so God, God's a creator. Creator of what? Creation. Creator okay. of energy. No, 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 no. You can't say creator of creation. You, you don't get to say that there is a creation in order to confirm a creator. What did God create? He created energy. How do you know this? Like, uh, we can testify energy, right? We can testify energy? Could, what the fuck does that mean? No, we could prove energy. We can prove energy is real, right? It's scientific. They could prove energy exists. Yes, but but we can't prove that energy had an origin or that God created energy because the, the laws of thermodynamics are such that energy cannot be created or destroyed. And so now you're arguing that there's someone who created something that science is saying can't be created or, or destroyed. And all I've asked you is, how do you know, how can you demonstrate that God created energy? Uh, well, that's a, that's a tough one, right? That's yeah, you should have thought of that before you called I don't in. Think anybody... If you're, <laughs> yeah, we're we're moving on. Ooh, hey, well, there's I'm the gonna... e equals m squared thing too, but that doesn't get you any closer to God. Yeah, it's like <laughs> I'd like to call in and prove this God, and I want to talk about fourth dimensions and fifth dimensions, which was stuff in the call screening thing that he didn't even get to. I want to talk about this God thing. Okay, define it. I think God created himself. No, 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 no. Define it. Oh, uh, uh, God is the creator of creation. No, 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 you can't do that. God is a creator of energy. How do you know that? Ooh, that's a tough one. What the fuck were you calling about? I've never thought about that question. Ask God for help. I thought I'd just call into the atheist experience and say, you know what? I believe there's a God, but it's really tough to prove. Oh, I can't even believe that. Like, like... Don, how many years have you done this show now? Is it have you done it 20 years? Have you done it 10, 10 12, 15, some, 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 some large number? I've done it 15 okay. and you were around before me by a year uh, or two. Year or two, yeah. yeah. Uh you've got more miles on you. So the first caller that we took, the, yeah, well, I've done, I've done more episodes, but that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> the first caller that we take calls in to suggest that they're going to present something that has never, ever, ever been presented on the show. And literally, it's a, a, a sort of... Yeah, but you, you took the bait, man. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like <laughs> a Tarek Alter call is what that guy did. <laughs> if the Bible is true, you better repent. Okay. Yeah, oh boy. And if frogs had wings, they wouldn't bump their asses hopping. But And then we get, we get, they get the guy that wants to prove God. But when we get to the actual question of how can you prove that I think God created energy. Cool. How do you prove that? Ooh, that's a tough one. 